The deal with Google is uh, we basically, and the AdMob mediation platform, Brightroll is now the first video solution that's available on, on the AdMob mediation platform. So basically if you're a mobile publisher or you're a mobile app developer and you want to use Google as the way to switch in a number of different demand sources as opposed to just relying on the Google demand sources, you can now um, choose from an array of different networks and Brightroll is the first video network to all be operative within that solution so as a young developer or a publisher you can add the mediation platform from AdMob and basically Brightroll is going to be in the drop down menu we have built an integration into their SDK so that you can very easily serve Brightroll ads into your application and start to make money that way so we think that is you know proof of Brightroll really trying to push the envelope from a mobile perspective and it's the first time Google's really opened up their their mediation solution to, to third parties, so we wanted to be aggressive when it, when, in, in regards to that. You know, really, the company's been in the online world for about six years. Uh, we launched the mobile business about two years ago, and we started you know, serving into uh, iPhones and Android devices. Uh, soon thereafter, we started serving into tablets as well. Um, and then the biggest piece of that is that that actual inventory is now available on our exchange. So programmatic buyers can now buy across iPhone, Android, iPads just as easily as they can online through the exchange right now and that was kind of a big change because we're trying to make it easy for buyers to basically buy one way and do it across all of these different screens. Um, connected TV has been a, a, a recent push for us as well because there's more and more interest in that and more and more usage and so you know the vision is to have the exchange buyers be able to buy across all of those screens um, no matter whether they're connected TV or mobile or tablet or, uh, or PC and so we're really pushing the envelope into that and the biggest surprise for us has just the, been the growth of usage and, and the number of video views that actually are, are happening uh, in the mobile devices. You know, we're, we're actually at on par with our online business in terms of number of requests we see already, um, even at, you know, after two years of being in the, in the mobile business. And I think it's just a factor of usage patterns and the fact that these apps are being downloaded and used quite extensively. I think that you know that's definitely been a, a question over the last couple of months. You know, will premium publishers make their uh, inventory available in the exchange? I mean, we have some of our publishers on the premium side that expose their inventory in the exchange. I think that their biggest concern is that their inventory is going to be commoditized in an exchange. And and our pitch to them is that this is the most robust different sources of demand that they're going to see. And so I think more of them are starting to get comfortable with that. And I think I. See see it going like over the next 18, 24 months that most of these uh, premium publishers will have a strategy for their direct sold business and they'll have a strategy for their the, the stuff that they're not selling, the remnant business, and they'll expose that into exchanges because it's going to be the best way for them to, to optimize their yield on every impression they have.